Hello everybody. Today's class is yoga stretch and this class is for long sitting. So you if you have been um work from home, um this class is good for you. Um I hope this class can end by 40 minutes. Yeah, that's my goal. Okay. So today's class we need two blocks and one belt. Okay? Let's start. Find your seat, cross your legs, and widen your sit bones. Hands on your thighs. Find your chest over your pelvis. And start to Observe your breathing. As you breathe in, lengthen your spine from the bottom of your belly all the way up to the crown of your head. Make your collarbone wide, chest open. Naturally, bring your shoulders back and down. Relax your pelvis. Soften your belly. Find the rhythm of your breathing. Relax your eyelids. Relax your jaw. Relax your mind. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Let your thumb touch the front of your chest. Inhale, lift the front of your chest. As you exhale, bow your forehead. As things for this time bring us together to practice. Namaste. Now open your eyes. Release your hands and lie down. Lie on your back. Open your feet wide as your mat. Open your arms over your head as your mat. So your body shape looks like an X. Now, as you inhale, lengthen the right side of your body, your right arm and your right leg. Flex your right foot. Push your right heel away from your pelvis. And lengthen the side of your chest, the side of your waist. Lengthen your armpits all the way to your fingertips. And deepen your breathing. Now exhale, release. Now switch side. Flex your left foot as you breathe in. Reach your left heel away from the back of your pelvis. And reach your arms over your head as much as you can. Lengthen your side waist, your side chest, your armpit. Don't hold your breath. Deepen your breath. And then exhale, release. Now both arm and both your hands. Inhale. Stretch both sides. Flex your foot. 
Reach your heels away from the back of your pelvis. Exhale, release. Now join your feet together. Hook your thumbs. Inhale, stretch again. Open the front of your pelvis. Stretch the back of your pelvis all the way to the back of your heels. And then exhale, release. Now bend the knees. Draw your right knee towards your chest and flex the right foot. Hold your foot from the outside of your from the outside with your hand. Now bring your right knee outside of your chest, like half bait, half happy baby. Now as you breathe in, expand your ribs and feel your lower back and your sacrum, they're flat on the mat. As you breathe out, bring your right knee towards to the floor and tuck your chin, lengthen the back of your neck. Option, you can keep yourself stay here or if you want to go deeper, you're welcome to straight your left leg. Try to keep your pelvis on the midline. Deepen your breathing. Bring your right knee towards the floor. Straight your left leg. Now bend your left knee. Switch right foot on the ground. Bend your left knee to your chest. Grab your left foot from outside. When you're ready, inhale. Exhale, bring your left knee towards the ground. Keep your pelvis at the center. If you want, slowly straighten your right leg on the ground. So your right leg is not, is not relaxing. Your right leg is actually working. Keep your right leg straight and firm. Feel your lower back, your sacrum, that flat on the mat. Lengthen the back of your neck. And keep breathing. Now release the pose. Now both legs. Catch your foot from the outside. Inhale. Exhale, bring your knee close to the ground. Tuck your, your pelvis. Lengthen the back of your neck. And relax your belly. Open your inner thigh from the, your inner growing all the way to your inner knees. Now release, draw your knees towards your chest and roll to your right and push yourself up. Okay, now come to all fours. Spread your fingers wide. Now we're going to do a thread needle so you can turn your left hand towards the, no, towards the center. Now in, open your chest all the way to your right. Exhale, bring your right arm underneath the left uh, left arm and try to roll your right side of your shoulders towards to your left and place your right cheek on the floor. Try to keep your hips over your knees. So I'm trying not to make your, your knees closer to the front of your mat or backward. Make it uh, over your hips. Now from here, as you breathe in, lengthen your spine from the bottom of the belly all the way up to the crown. As you breathe out, start to turn your right lower back towards the center and the back of your right ribs and your right side of your shoulder blades. Try to turn your right side to your left. As you turn, 
don't squeeze your throat. So basically, your voice is that change. And now breathe in through your ribs. Find your sweet spot on your right lower back or upper back. And exhale maybe deeper. And now let me push. Open your chest all the way to your right. Exhale, switch. Turn your right hand in. And now open your chest all the way to your left. And exhale, bring your left arm underneath the right arm. And roll your left shoulders to your right. Now give yourself a moment to adjust your posture. Inhale, lengthen your spine from the bottom of your belly all the way to the crown of your head. So we're thinking, we're pulling our spine away from our pelvis. As you breathe out, push your right hand into the floor and start to turn your left lower back towards the center, your mid back and your left shoulder blades. And keep your throat relaxed. Soften your throat. Deepen your breath. Find your sweet spot on your left side and keep breathing. And now right hand push, open your chest all the way to your left. And then exhale, release. Good. Now from here, stand up. I need to keep checking my notebook. All right. Now take the blocks. Let the blocks just slightly wider than your hips and take the belt. Make a loop. Stand on the blocks, spread your toes, find your four corners on your feet, and place a loop on the bottom of your upper arm. Like this. Palms face to each other. Yeah. Now from here, try to draw the front of your shoulders back and keep your arms super straight. Spread your fingers wide. And help with your front chest. Keep your legs straight. Firm your inner knees. And then exhale, bow forward. Now as you bow forward, Keep drawing your, your, uh, the front of your shoulders back. So try not to collapse the front of your shoulders. Keep pushing the strap with your whole arms. Keep your arms straight. Extend through your fingertips. Fold over the top of your thigh with your belly. Relax your neck, keep your legs straight, firm your inner knees, and push your legs both super straight. It's not easy. It's muscular energy. Shoulders back, legs firm, and fall over your belly to your thigh. Two more breaths. And now come all the way up. Keep your front chest lift. And then exhale, release. Whew. Now release your belt. Remove the blocks. And then come to your first downward facing dog. Now check your hand first. 
firm your in, the root of your index finger on the mat. And make sure your middle finger has a 90 degree angle um, with your thumbs. Okay? So try to. When you look at your hands on the mat, try to make your middle finger um, have a 90 degrees with your thumb here. Okay, middle finger, thumb, 90 degree. Okay. Relax your head. Straighten your legs. Push your pelvis back. Pull your trunk away from your pelvis and push your arms super straight. Spread your toes from your big toes and your inner ankle. Lengthen your sit bones towards the sky and draw your the bottom of your ribs towards your torso into your body. Inhale, look forward, arms straight. Exhale, bring your right foot between your hands. Bring your left knee on the ground. Uh, relax your back foot. Uh, when I say relax your back foot, it doesn't mean you need to um, like uh, collapse your back foot. You need to firm the top of your foot on the mat. So spread your toes wide and push into the in your mat. Now from here, make sure your right knee is over your ankle, hands on your thigh, and bring bring your torso up. Now, pause for a moment and notice from here, I want you to relax your belly and just simply sink your pelvis straight to the ground. So, like this. Relax your belly so you don't try to like pull your belly in. We don't have to do this in this pose now. So just simply relax your belly, let your, uh, I'm sorry, relax your pelvis towards the ground. As you sink your pelvis to the ground, push your feet into the floor. So you are not pushing your lower back. You're just simply sinking your pelvis. Go with the gravity, hands on your thigh. Now from here, as you inhale, lengthen your spine from the bottom all the way up to the crown. Lengthen your spine, lengthen your spine. Keep lengthening your spine and keep sinking your pelvis. So you should feel you're opening the front of your left, uh, left hips, the front of your left hips. Hands down, step back, then we're facing dog. Now switch left foot between your hands, right knee on the ground, Press the front of your right foot on the mat. Left knee over your left ankle, torso up. Now pause, relax your belly. Don't hold your core and just sink your pelvis towards the ground. Go with the gravity. And notice we are not opening our pelvis to your right. So try to turn the right side of your pelvis towards the center. Hands on your thigh and lengthen your spine. Lengthen your spine. The pelvis go down. Pelvis goes down. Open the front of the right hips. Keep your feet firm. Hands down. Step back. Downward facing dog. Stretch your arms straight, legs straight. Send your sit bone to the sky. Draw the bottom of your ribs in. 
Keep shifting your pelvis back away from your hands. Lengthen the side of your trunk. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, right foot forward. Left foot forward. Big toes touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And then extra release. Good. Now inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bring the left foot back. Right foot between your hands. Now find your right knee over your right ankle again. Now from here. Find your right hip, um, I'm sorry, right thigh um, parallel to the ground, like precisely, very accurate. Make your right thigh parallel to the ground. So um, that, can make, that can make your pelvis pretty low, pretty close to the ground. This is what I want. Now bring your right thigh parallel to the ground. Now keep that. You can um, keep your hands on the floor. If this is too much for you, grab the blocks underneath your hands. Keep your right thigh parallel and straight your left leg. Straight your left leg from the inside of your th uh, from your inside. So push uh, inside of your left uh, left thigh all the way to your left inner ankle. So I'm I'm gonna say that again. Push your left inner thigh from the top all the way to your left inner ankle. Now with that, <laughs> hands on hips, inhale, torso up. So you're still, keep your right thigh parallel to the ground. This is pretty hard, but keep your back leg straight. So we're still opening the front of your left hips, but we're anchoring our right, um, right femur, like, you're sinking your right femur into your pelvis. And lengthen your spine. This is stretching, and this is also strength. Keep breathing. Relax your shoulders. Relax your eyes. Hands on the ground. Downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, left foot between your hands. You can grab your blocks in. Now, bend your front knee. Find your left thigh parallel to the ground. Parallel to the ground. Don't hide your hips, but don't overload your hips. Find your parallel thigh. Now from here, Take your back leg straight. Stretch your right inner thigh all the way to your right inner heel. With that, hands on your thigh, torso up. Try not to use too much your arms. Bring your torso, hands light, back leg straight, front thigh 90 degrees, and square your hips. Lengthen your trunk, lengthen your spine, and keep breathing. Anchor your left femur bones into your pelvis. In your pelvis. Anchor your left femur bone in your pelvis. Exhale, come down. Remove the blocks. Downward facing dog. Straight your arms, straight your legs, sending your sit bones high, lengthen the side of your trunk, draw the bottom of your ribs in, lengthen the back of your neck. Inhale, look forward, exhale, right foot forward, left foot forward, big toes touch, exhale, forward fold, hold the back of your ankle. Inhale, come all the way up. And then exhale. 
Nice release. Good. Now, grab the belt and the blocks again. And this time, make the blocks a lot wider. Wider, wider. Stand on the blocks. Place the belt at the same place we did earlier. Okay. Spread your toes wide. Arms straight. Shoulders back. Inhale, lift your chest, but ribs in, exhale, fold. Relax your belly, let your belly fold over your thigh. Relax your head. Push the strap. Keep bringing the front of your shoulders back. Open the back of your thigh, the back of your knees, and firm your inner knees. Push your legs bone straight. And deepen your breathing. Try to bring your arms closer to the floor. Uh, to the floor. At the end of your next exhalation, inhale, come all the way up. And then exhale, release. Release your belt. Step down. Remove the blocks. Okay, downward facing dog. Inhale, move forward. Exhale, bring your right foot between your hands. Turn your back foot down. Find your right heel aligned to your back heel and grab one block next to your right foot. Straighten your legs. Hands on the hips. From here, start to bend your right. Uh, start to bend your right knee, coming to your Virabha draw some two. Find your right thigh parallel to the ground as much as you can. It's hard. It's not easy. Straight your back leg. Now open your right thigh from the top of your groin all the way to your right knee, inner knee. Open your arms. Virabhadrasana two. Expand your ribs. Extend your shoulders to your fingertips. Now from here, move your torso forward, hands on the blocks. Left hand on your hips for a moment. Now keep your right thigh parallel to the ground and keep pushing your right, um, right knee to your right arm. That can help you to keep your right inner thigh open. Now from here, Gently, slightly push uh, the back of your left buttock towards the side of your mat. Now with that, straighten your top arm. Lengthen your spine and start to roll your belly from floor to sky. Roll your belly to the sky, roll your ribs, roll your chest, and Head back. Keep your back leg straight. Now left hand down. Remove the block. Downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Left foot between your knees. Turn your right foot down. Left heel aligned to your back heel, one block next to your left foot. Stand up, both legs straight, hands on your hips. When you're ready, 
Bend your left knee, left knee to 90 degrees. And find your left thigh parallel to the ground. Now with that, keep your back leg straight. Open the front of your pelvis. Open your chest. Keep your shoulder back. Very about draw on the two. Now move your torso forward, left hand on the block, right hand on your hip, look down, push your left arm with your left outer thigh to open your left inner thigh. With that, slightly push your right buttock towards the side of your mat. Now with that, inhale, lengthen your spine. Keep your back leg strong and firm. Reach your right arm to your head. And start to turn your belly to the sky. Turn your ribs to the sky. Turn your chest and head back. In this pose, you should feel your opening your left hips and open your left inner thigh. Now right arm down, remove the block. Down, we're facing dog. Stretch your arm straight, leg straight. Keep shifting your pelvis back. Lengthen your torso. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, right foot forward. Left foot forward, big toes touch. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way. Exhale, release. Good. Come onto your knee. Virasana. So use your hand. Roll your calf out. Spread your toes wide. And sit between your heels. Now from here. If you already feel your quads is stretching like pretty hard, you can just stay here. Or if you need, you can place one block underneath your, your butt. Or, uh, but if you feel you have more space, can go deeper from here. Walk your hands back, walk your arms back. Tuck your tailbone towards the back of your knees and then lie on your back. Open the front of your thigh, the front of your pelvis. Try to draw your lower ribs in. Bring your arms over your head. Bend your elbow, catch your elbow. Sinking your shoulders, sinking your upper back. To the ground. Relax your belly. Now switch the hook of your arms. The hold of your arms. Relax your belly more. Relax your upper back more. Soften your jaw. Settle your tongue.
Release your hands. Slowly bring yourself up. Come to all fours. And sit on your left, straight your legs. Catch your belt. Make a small loop. And then lie on your back. Bend your knees. Find your lower back, your sacrum, flat on the mat. Now straight your right leg. Place a loop at the bottom of your right foot. Flex your foot. Squeeze your right inner knee. Now from here, slowly straight your left leg. Roll your left thigh towards the center. Inhale. Exhale, bring your right leg towards your chest. As you bring your right leg towards your chest, keep your left leg firm. Keep your left leg roll in towards the center. Relax your throat. Open the back of your right leg from the back of your right hips. So you're extending your right leg from the bottom of your butt all the way to the back of your heel. So you are not you are not pushing the back of your right knee to the sky. Now hand the strap to your right in, uh, right hand. Open your right leg to your right. Slowly. As you open your right leg to your right, notice your pelvis, your left pelvis might want to tip to your right, but don't let it tip. Keep your left pelvis heavy, anchored on the ground. Squeeze your inner knee. Cut your right inner thigh from the top all the way to your right inner arch. Now come back to center, bend your right knee, switch. Right foot on the ground, straight your left leg through the air. Flex your left foot, squeeze your left inner knee. Now straight your right leg on the, frown, uh, on the floor, turn your right leg in, firm your right leg, inhale. Exhale. Stretch your left leg straight. From the back of your buttock, buttock all the way to your left heel. Soften your ribs. Soften your chest. Deepen your breath. Let your left hand grab the strap and open your left leg to your left. Slowly. As you open your left leg, notice 
the right side of your pelvis is not tipping to your left. No, no, no. Keep your right hips on the ground. Keep your right leg firm. Cut your left inner thigh from the top all the way to your left inner arch. Keep your chest, your belly, your pelvis face to the ceiling. Make them parallel to the ceiling and deepen your breath. Now slowly come back, bend your left knee, no release the bill. Okay, grab a, grab a block. So we have two choices. You can set your block at second level or third level, your choice. So you can try both to see which one is uh, more comfortable for you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Set the block on your sacrum. Now from here, straighten your legs. with muscular energy. So when you straighten your legs, you are not relaxing your legs. Flex your feet. You're opening the front of your hips all the way to your heel. You can hold your, your block with both of your hands or you can interlace your fingers. So you're extending the top of your thigh all the way to your heel, the back of your heels. You can bring your eyes to your chest, your belly, and deepen your breath. Release your hands from here, bend the knees, feet on the ground, lift your hips up, and remove the block on the side. Hips down. Now feel your lower back. You should feel your lower back, your sacrum, they're flat on the mat. Next pose, grab the belt. You don't need to release the loop. You can use the tail and bring, uh, bring your strap on the top of your, your feet here, okay? Now grab your strap tight, turn your toes Sliding inward, firm your heels, firm your big toes. When you're ready, hips up. Walk your shoulders in. External rotate both of your arms. If you're flexible enough, maybe you can catch your ankle with your hands. It's your option. Pull 
push the back of your skull on the mat and lift your hips up. Grab your strap tight, hips up. Exhale, release the pose. Release the belt. Draw your knees towards your chest and roll to your, uh, roll to your right. Push yourself up. left knee. Bring your left foot to the top of your right thigh. So try to place your left heel um, at the middle of your right thigh. Now from here, swing your left arm around and try to catch the left foot. I should do the opposite. I'm saying I'm saying the pose wrong. Sorry. So keep the leg the, the uh, keep the legs the same, but I'm sorry, that was confusing. I look at my nose, I was like, what? Okay, so keep your legs the same, but swing your right arm back and catch your left inner thigh, like this. If it's too hard for you to catch your left inner thigh, use a strap. Let the strap go around your left thigh and catch the strap. Okay. and catch your right foot with the left hand from outside. Inhale, pull your spine. Lengthen your spine, Lend, lengthening your torso. And on your exhalation, twist, roll your belly to your right, roll your ribs to your right, and open your right collarbone. Relax your belly and turn. Release, straight your left leg. Now switch, bend your right knee. Bring your right foot on the top of your left thigh. And then swing your left hand around, catch your right inner thigh, catch your left foot from outside with your right hand, inhale, spine long, exhale, turn. Roll your torso from the bottom of the belly, and then your ribs, and then your chest, and then your collarbone. Now release. Straight legs. Now from here. Okay. Open your legs. Don't let your legs open too wide. So the maximum is 120 degrees. Don't let them like widely open. Now uh, find your sit bones. Flex your feet and hands behind you. Stay here for a moment. Now feel the top 
of your thigh, anchor on the floor, and firm both of your legs. Lift up your inner thigh, uh, inner knees, flex your feet, hands pushing to the floor. That can help you to extend your torso. Bring your shoulders back. Draw the bottom of your ribs in. Don't pop your ribs. Now, keep your legs firm. Um, if you already feel your uh, both of your inner thigh, they are stretching pretty strong. You can stay here for another couple breaths. But if you have uh, more space, can go deeper. Keep your legs firm. You can start to walk your hands forward, but be slow. So the more you walk your hands forward, the more you want to turn your thighs in. Now you need to fight with it. You need to turn your thighs out and anchor the top of your thigh on the floor. With that, walk your hands forward. So you got to move slow so you can notice at what point your feet or your legs want to turn in. So strongly turn your thigh out. If you have more flexibility like me, if you want to walk your arms fully straight, try to let your belly touch first and then your chest, okay? Explore this pose, but observe your, your body. If you want to go very deep, let your belly touch the ground first. Let your belly faster than your chest. Let your belly faster than your chest. Keep your legs firm. Keep your legs firm. You gotta work very hard on your upper thigh. Now slowly bring yourself back. Now from here, keep legs the same and here reach your arms over your head. Lengthen your trunk. Exhale, turn to your right. Inhale, lengthen your spine again. Push your hands into the floor. Exhale, twist. Now, keep your left hand on the ground, but reach your right arm to the sky. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk your left hand straight forward. And then slowly bring your torso to your left inner thigh. Catch your left foot with the left hand Maybe you can catch your left foot with the right hand. Now, adjust if you can go very deep like me. Adjust the back of your left shoulders on your left inner thigh, inner knee. Relax your head. Turn your belly. Turn your ribs, turn your chest. If this is too much for you, there's no way you can do this. That is fine. Grab a block, place the block at the outside of your thigh. And choose your level, place your elbows on the thigh, uh, on the blocks. 
and then reach your top arm to the sky. Keep your legs firm and then turn your torso. Okay? Choose your version and stay. Deepen your breath. Roll your left belly to the sky. Warm. And he'll come back. Lengthen. Exhale, turn to your left. Hands down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn to your left. Push the floor with your hands. Inhale, reach your left arm over your head. Exhale, walk your right hand straight forward. And slowly walk your right hand to your right. Bring the back of your right shoulders to your right inner thigh. Now catch your foot your hands. If you need, place the block outside of your right leg and reach your left arm over your head. Lengthen your spine and turn your belly from right to left. Turn your ribs from right to left chest, shoulders, head back. And come back. Extra release. Bend the knees. Catch your legs from inside and Feet together. Baddha Konasana. Now inhale. Lengthen your spine. Exhale. Fold forward. Don't be aggressive. Slowly bring your body into a deeper stage. Relax your belly. Relax your chest. Extend your inner groin to your inner knee. Now slowly come back. Knees together. Turn to the front of your mat. Downward facing dog. Push your arms straight. Leg straight. External rotate both of your arms. Strongly roll your tricep towards the center and feel the root of your index finger and your thumb on the mat. Inhale on your toes. Exhale, come to your plank and balance on your right. Now we have option here. Um, we have two option here actually. Yeah. So come after you come to plank, you can decide you want to do side plank, push on straight, squeeze your legs, bring your hips high, and just open your chest here, or you can catch your left uh, your left foot with the left hand from outside of your big toe and kick to the sky. Choose your version. No matter which version you're doing, push your right leg straight. Now turn your belly, turn your ribs, turn your chest. Release. Downward facing dog. 
plank. Balance on your left, your choice, side plank, or catch your right foot with the right hand, kick to the sky. Keep your left leg straight, turn your belly, turn your ribs, turn your chest, firm your legs. Downward facing dog. And look forward. Bring your right foot between your hands. Pigeon. Walk your right foot to your left. Find your right knee wider than your left hip. Lengthen your back leg. And check. Make sure your back leg is parallel to the side of the mat. Keep your pelvis chest square, elbows on the ground or on the blocks. Relax your belly. Now from here, slowly go deeper. yourself back, downward facing dog, switch, left foot to your right, left knee wider than your hips, straight your back leg, square your hips, your belly, your chest. Don't be too aggressive when you go when you go deeper. Give yourself a pause. Deepen your breath. Downward facing dog. First side again. Right leg forward, pigeon. Now, this time, walk your torso to your right. Downward facing dog, switch. Torso to your left. Come back. Come onto your knees. 
for your right knee behind your left knee. Open your shin. Sit back. And gently squeeze your thigh. Inhale. Lengthen your torso. Exhale, fold over. Walk your hands forward. Relax your head. You can keep your arms here or you can bend your elbow, rest your elbows on the floor, palms face up, your choice. Torso up, exhale, fold over. Relax your belly on your thigh. Relax your chest on your thigh. You can choose to straighten your arms forward or rest your elbows on the floor, palms face up. back, release your legs from here, come to the top of your mat, come on your knees, now last pose, Barasana, roll your calf out, sit between your heels, walk your hands back. Tuck your tailbone towards the back of your knees. Open the front of your pelvis. Reach your arms over your head. Relax your belly. Relax your thigh. Bring your shoulders to the ground, bring your upper back to the ground, and close your eyes, soften your jaw, Feel your nostril cool when you breathe in. Feel your nostril warm when you breathe out. Focusing on the sensation of your nostril while you're breathing. your feet with your hands. 
slowly through yourself up. Straight your legs. Lie on your back. Feet apart. Mat width. Mat mass width. Bring your knees together. Pull your shoulders back. Palms face to the ceiling. Tuck your chin. Find your lower back and your sacrum relax on the floor. From here, slowly straighten your legs, come into your full Shavasana. Okay. So this is today's art class. And this class, <laughs> 70 minutes. Uh, but still hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Bye-bye.